Good evening folks, Alien Addict here. This is the reason why I've not been uploading all so often. Um, this little bundle of joy. Um, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't change it for the world, but 2019, I'm going to be there for you. So without further ado, let me just uh, get rid of this uh, stinker. Last night I made a, a purchase on Google, um, Bob Lazar Flying Saucer, no, Bob Lazar Area 51 on Flying Saucers. Um, I'd probably call it something like Bob Lazar, still none the wiser though, because I am still none the wiser. I've, I've watched the video, Jeremy, um, and I have to say, he's done a great job. It's well produced. The guy, he's got a, he's got a genuine, really good talent there. Um, I'm just, I, I have to question it. I mean, we talked about what we've already heard. I, I, mean, I mean, there's not, I don't think there, I mean, in the comments, tell me if I'm wrong. I don't think there's anything in that documentary that I hadn't already heard in previous documentaries and previous um, videos that have gone out on the internet, not, necess not necessarily being done by Bob. Um, I'm just, you know, we heard about the fact that he's worked on these flying saucers, um, the fact that he may or may not have had a little bit of that element 115 and I'll get back onto that in a moment I, I don't even know what element 115 is let's google what's element 115 according to wikipedia moscovium is a synthetic chemical element with symbol mc and atomic number 115 can element 115 be stabilised According to Facebook, creating element 115. To make element 115, scientists have to smash very high-speed calcium ions, which have 20 protons, into a target with americium atoms, which have 95 protons. Okay, she didn't actually answer it. Um, I just wanted a bit more. Do you know what I mean? I wanted more of that from the documentary. I mean, and I don't think we... Well, we didn't get that. Um, I tell you what else I wanted to know. I mean, how he explains about the three levels of the UFO. Does Bob in the documentary and how these uh, magnetic things work in the kind of like engine room or magnetic room, whatever. It doesn't explain how he actually gets in the UFO. Do you know what I mean? I want to know how, what its door was like. Did it have a door? Did they have to drill their way in? You know, we talk about the little seats. We don't talk about really any, I mean, I, I think we've heard before that there wasn't any kind of screens or anything like that in the vehicle. It sounds like it was very hollowed out. It's all very hazy. I, like he's almost forgotten do you know what i mean it's like somebody who's just it's a very plain image of a ufo a classic ufo and inside it's got these little tiny chairs where bob said before in a previous video that he did walk past the window and saw two guards talking to this little alien guy and then in the documentary he actually says he believes that it was just two guys talking to a uh, a model of an alien which you know just means they're crazy or, or rehearsing talking to aliens i don't know I, i'm just is anybody else uh, this video is kind of like it's not a review or anything like it's a little bit of a rant i would say go watch it purchase it don't fucking download it well download it if you skint i suppose but 
I downloaded it, I purchased it, um, just because I think, you know, if someone's put hard work into it, I'll, I'll pay for Well, I kind of paid for it, because you know that Google Rewards thing? I, I do that, and I, I had like five quid on there, so the, the 4 dollars was it? No, yeah. 4 99 extra I put on myself, so thank you, Google, for paying for Bob Lazar's documentary. Uh, Jeremy Carbell's documentary, should I say. I'm sure a lot of you watching this have seen the interview with Tyler from Security in 10 with Bob Lazar and uh, Jeremy Corbell. I feel the same as I do. You wish Jeremy Corbell had not been in that interview. I completely understand why he was, because obviously he wants to promote his movie. But I feel like that needs a second interview. And somebody needs to ask Bob all the questions that we want to know, we want, you know, about the, the craft, more questions about the craft, more questions about Element 115. I just want these questions answered. There's so many people calling out Bob Lazar at the moment, and I get why, and I'm not saying for one second that I think that Bob Lazar is a fraud, because I, I have no idea. You know, he could be an absolute genius and has just made this entire story up. But he could be telling the truth at the same time. But there is people asking questions. Um, there's a war going on on Twitter at the moment between um, Alien Scientist and Jeremy Corbell. Uh, Jeremy Corbell's blocked him. But I'll play you a little bit of a clip now of something that is going on on Twitter with Alien Scientist and uh, the, his questions on Element 115. They're sellouts. They're complete sellouts. And that's all That's all I have to say to it. And, you know, they're completely bitter and talking shit about me. They blocked me. And, and now it's going to get it. Now it's going to get serious because this story needs to die, man. 30 years ago. And people, I, I, just, I just think about all these young kids, just like myself, you know, I'm 36 now. I got went to school, got a physics degree. I went and did 10 years in the field of ufology and, and researching anti-gravity because I thought like Bob Lazar was telling the truth. Only come to find out after all the research I've done, and, and this is the summary of all that. And now it's getting blocked so people can't even have access to that truth. And I just want to save other people, young people, to tell them to, you know, go to school, go to college, get a degree in, in something, or you don't even have to. Go to MIT free courseware and, and just give yourself an education. I give them the guidelines of what you know, what courses you need to take and what you, what you need to study. There's a whole section on my website outlaying this. And um, go on the MIT free courseware and teach yourself physics, real physics. Learn about super heavy elements. Learn about you know gravity and, and, and learn about general relativity from real people who know general relativity, not Bob Lazar. Um, making videos, you know, you know, throwing in 80% truth and then slamming you with that lie right at the end of it. The most effective disinformation is 80% truth with about 20% disinformation. Uh, well, that's according to a post uh, Jordan Sather just made on, on uh, I don't know the exact uh, ratio and everything, but yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Bob Lazar, um, and we're gonna go to MIT, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get some real physicists and people from MIT because I'm sure that they've seen this and they know about this, and uh, and if not, then they're going to, and uh, we're gonna settle this debate that I that you know, deep praised deep neuron thinks he's won with me on Twitter over over the element 115 and stability and you know what relative stability means you know things that are you know it's well it's relatively stable it's stable enough that it sticks around like uranium and plutonium aren't stable they still have a half life they still decay radioactively um, but they're still uh, they stick around long enough for us to find them and the, the whole debate over why we haven't found element 115 why it doesn't appear in the geological record or on meteorites why it basically doesn't exist and it's like a negative that you can never disprove it so these people use that as like oh well you can't you've never disproved it so it, 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 Bob Lazar could still be telling the truth yes he could be but it, that's that's the genius of this lie and he knew that from the get-go like I said before in the video, I am no scientist whatsoever. I have no idea about these elements and all that crap. 
you know, I, th- I think it, it's fascinating and it, I respect anybody who does know about this, but I'm not going to get in an argument with somebody um, or, or a debate on elements and what materials can be used on blah, 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 because I have not the foggiest. So you'd win the argument flat out. You could tell me that, you know, um, UFOs are made out of dog shit and that dog shit can fly. I, I, I'm, I would be none the wiser, you know. Whatever did happen to white dog poo? It's been gone for a long time. I've never seen, I haven't seen a white dog poo since I was a kid. That must be something that the dog had in the diet at the time. Anyway, let's move away from dog, dog poo. What I did notice, so in terms of conspiracy, conspiracy in this uh, video, and there's a lot of conspiracy channels that I generally do watch, believe it or not, and yeah, I laugh at a lot of them, uh, and sometimes I take the piss out of them in videos. But, but I did notice something and it kind of stuck in my mind. There, there, there is a scene where they're interviewing Bob's mum uh, and the cushion <laughs> behind her is the same cushion that a lot of conspiracy theorists uh, are saying that uh, you know, the layout of NASA uh, and the carpet from The Shining, it's the same pattern almost the same on the cushion very similar colors as well and there's also a bit where bob lazar's wife she she says that bob's not a liar and all these triangles on her her outfit and i can can just see all these conspiracy theorists and um the uh, the religious channels as a the ones that you know the flat earth channels all jumping on this the ones that talk about the number 33 a lot i do see the number 33 a lot now i see that every day and i was if you've not made it this far in the video and you've just looked at the video and you are a conspiracy channel and you've seen that this guy here has got the number 33 there i see the number 33 constantly so i think it must be a lucky number for me um that's why it's in the video not because i am trying to be um send hidden signals or anything like that the dinosaur is just a dinosaur bit of fun it's not because dinosaurs are real um and i'm putting hidden messages in my video it's just because that's the dinosaur that i bought my little boy for christmas he's three year old and i bought him a dinosaur that he can't play with because i wanted it and I thought it was funny that the dinosaur bites an alien. So there you go, there's that. So yeah, we've got to look into these things. And we, we some of the stuff we've got to take really with a pinch of salt. And not believe everything we hear just because everybody says this guy is amazing. Or this YouTube channel speaks complete and utter truth. And they know things that other channels don't know. And they know things that other people don't know i think as if you are a uf ufologist or you're just somebody who's generally interested in science or just curious then you do have to question everything question my channel you know question absolutely everything I, the one thing I, I won't do is i will never say that something is 100 percent because i don't know you know I've, I've seen UFOs and they, you know, they could be something completely, I could be looking at balloons, um, I could be looking at aeroplanes, I just think that we need to question it more in order to get the answers that we're all looking for and that's the only way, by getting rid of all the bullshit, that's the only way that we're ever going to find these answers that we're looking for, whether it be uh, something godly i don't you know something whether it's angels and demons or whether it is aliens and there is millions and billions of civilizations out there i really don't know the answers i my my feeling is that yes there is 
aliens out there yes there's space goes on and on and on and that there probably is life after death as well and there probably is you know a higher being watching over us or maybe we're even in the matrix who fucking knows the possibilities are endless I don't think anybody, anybody of you, any of you right now watching this, I don't think you know the answers. So anyway, yeah. Make sure you subscribe to Alien Addict for no bullshit. And uh, I would sell you my mug and my t-shirt, but they're not for sale. My mate bought me that for Christmas. It's Juniverse, thank you. And he bought me this for my birthday. A bit back. Um... So yeah, maybe I will do some merch at some point, but I, I, I work long hours in the day. This is why I barely get to upload. I'm planning on changing that this year, and I, I wanna try and get a video done at least once a week for you guys, because I, I fucking love it. It's just, being a, being a dad or two, working my tits off in the day, it, it's difficult, and I'm sure that a lot of you in that situation where you've wanted to do something and um, life just gets in the way you can't you can't i can't neglect work on my kids because that's what puts a roof over my head maybe one day alien addict will put a roof over my head who knows but for the time being i'm not going anywhere that's what i would say not going anywhere i am here i just i've been absent for a bit but yeah Here's to a very, very happy and successful 2019 for everybody. Good night, God bless. Mind the bugs don't bite. What are you doing to that? Say good night, God bless. Mind the books don't bite. Yeah? Okay. Good night.